What scares you? Spiders? Snakes? Heights? Being buried alive? And what the hell is that? For me, I've always hated mannequins. Unless, of course, it's these kind of mannequins. Wow. So, what does this all have to do with making a movie? A scary movie? Well, at the 2014 American film market, the AFM, at the Pitch Conference, which was moderated by Stephanie Palmer, a former Hollywood executive and the founder of Good in a Room, she was there with panelists, independent producer and agent Cassian Elwus, and the president of Worldwide Production and Acquisitions for the exclusive media group, Tobin Armbrust. So I was there as a guest of Stephanie's, as she was a guest of mine on my podcast, Film Trooper Podcast, episode number 39. Now, I'm not too sure how many people came away with this amazing piece of advice that Tobin Armbrust gave basically away for free but he said that when you're making a story or you're making a film for the horror scare genre create a unique and memorable monster I think he used antagonist but today we're gonna use monster but that's it think about this you must create a unique and memorable monster if I can say the word memorable 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 so that's it that's my job as a filmmaker and storyteller for my next feature film project i have to create a unique and memorable monster sounds pretty easy but how how are you going to do that you know what well that's what we're going to explore in this episode of how to make a movie a film trooper case study what scares us film trooper helping filmmakers become entrepreneurs with my dad, he's a dork. Creating a unique and memorable monster or antagonist or villain. That's it. That's my job. For those of you who follow Film Trooper on a regular basis, you probably have heard me say many times that Hollywood is not in the film business. They are in the business of exploiting licenses. Now you can imagine if you're going to an executive meeting and you want to pitch your scary movie idea. That executive is probably going to ask you, what is the unique and memorable villain that you've created in your story? The reason we need to know this is because we need to make sequels and sell Halloween costumes. This is the reason why they make franchises from Jason from the Friday the 13th movies, or Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre films, or Chucky, or Pinhead, or Candyman. And my you know, all-time freakiest favorite was Michael Myers from the Halloween series. I remember watching the original film when I was a kid with my two brothers and it just freaked the crap out of us. And we were so scared that we all huddled in the same small twin bed. It was a bunk bed, so we were up on top. That's where we slept because we were just so freaked out by that movie. But years later, now that I'm an adult, I dress up as Michael Myers and I end up scaring kids while they trick or treat. It's just payback. So what is it about Michael Myers' blank stare mask that just freaked me out and you know, millions of people later? I don't know, millions, maybe thousands. It's called The Uncanny Valley. Originally coined by Masahiro Mori in 1970, the term Uncanny Valley describes our strange revulsion towards things that appear almost human, but not quite. But Mori was referring to like robots and androids and eventually like CGI characters like Tom Hanks and Polar Express. Ugh, creepy. So what is my job as the filmmaker or storyteller? And it's not just about creating the next mannequin or mass murderer with a mask on their face or some creepy little girl or some creepy little doll. No, whatever unique and memorable villain that I'm gonna be creating for my story has to be logically connected to the context of the story. So right now my story premise is pretty simple. It just involves a 12 year old girl who's alone at home when the power goes out and things go bump. Pretty basic, nothing special, but if we're gonna make this film in the style of a film trooper film, meaning that you just make a feature film based on anything that you have right in front of you, just the crap that you have in front of you. And what I have in front of me is my house and my 12 year old daughter and her goofy little friends. So I did an impromptu survey of a bunch of 12 year olds, actually 12 year olds in my daughter's choir group, and I recorded them when I asked the simple question of, if you're alone in the house, what would scare the bejesus out of you? Now you're not going to hear any of the recording is because I somehow magically deleted everything. It's what you call in the professional world a major f up. Anyhow, this is what some of them had to say. The sound of a dishwasher. A girl wearing a hockey mask with a knife. Hobos infected with Ebola. Jeff the killer. 
Slender Man, and one kid said his grandmother. As you can see, 12 year olds are complete idiots. I mean, how am I going to create a unique and memorable villain out of a dishwashing grandma or internet meme? So I have a lot of work to do in creating a unique and memorable villain for this particular film, but there's a bigger question, which is, am I trying to make a scary movie for 12 year olds? Is that my targeted audience? Or is it someone else? And that's really the mega question for all uber independent filmmakers, which is, who is your audience? Who are you making your film for? Well, that's in the next episode of How to Make a Movie, a Film Trooper Case Study, How to Find Your Audience. If you like this episode, then of course, please subscribe. Also, if you happen to be stuck with making your feature film, then head on over to freegearguide.com where you can get an equipment list of everything that I use to make a feature film for $500 with no crew. It's this thing right here. Again, head on over to freegearguide.com where you can find some inspiration of what can be made for so little and you'll think to yourself like, I can do a lot better than that guy. And you know what? You can. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Film Trooper, helping filmmakers become entrepreneurs. <laughs>